So hello and welcome. Today we're going to be trapping mice. That's because it's winter time and the mice have moved into my chicken coop. And this is the Planky Pro. It is a walk the plank style trap and there are some things I want you to know about it. First of all, I have special buckets for it. This isn't your standard five gallon bucket. It's a deeper one, a taller one. How tall is it? You might wonder. Oh, it's 19 inches from the interior bottom to the upper lip. That means mice can't jump out. Here it is, Planky Pro. Walk the plank style, no kill or kill version. I'm gonna use it as no kill. I'm gonna tell you everything I do to make it work even better. Not sponsored, I bought this for a full price on Amazon. All the links to everything I'm gonna show you will be down below. A nod to Sean Woods. He is the trap master for Mousetrap Mondays and that's where I learned about this one. So I jumped on it right away, bought it, ordered it. It's here. My wife wants me to get mice out of the chicken coop. This is how I'm going to do it. These are the steps. Bait it, put it together, place it on a bucket, calibrate the trap. Calibration is going to be key because I followed their guidelines and they didn't work very well. I'm going to explain that too. It comes with this fold-out wooden plank. Pretty slippery. Nice. You have to use a screwdriver there to tighten it up once you get it in a straight position. But I'm going to modify that too. I'm just going to show it as designed to start things off. It's 21 and 3 quarters of an inch in length all the way. Now here's the adjustment screw. Look, they pour this epoxy or whatever this is, rubbery stuff. It's part of the counterweight, but it covered up that uh, Phillips head screw, which is your adjustment for the sensitivity. Here's the shroud. This is what makes this much better than other walk the plank style traps. Your mice only have one way to get in and they can't jump sideways or leap to the edge of the bucket or something like that as the trap starts to trip. And because it has a magnet, it trips suddenly. This is the bait I'm going to use. Fisher's Crunchy Peanut Butter. You can use anything you want. Peanut butter works really well though. And I stick it to the back of the trap, not the plank itself. So it does not interfere with the physical weight of the plank. Now there are detailed instructions here. They want you to put this block on here. I weighed the block. It weighs exactly 5 eighths of an ounce. And I want you to push it until it gets to three quarters of an inch from that leading edge. So it's actually too sensitive from the company. But I want to tell you right now, if you do nothing else, don't change the sensitivity. Because if you move it all the way out to the end before it trips, it's too stiff for the mice. My target species are house mice. That's right. House mice are a little bit smaller than the deer mice, but there's the adjustment. I had to dig out the, the epoxy there, whatever it is, so I could get my Phillips head screwdriver in there. And to increase the strength, you turn it counterclockwise. And I had to go through that a couple of times to make sure that I could push this all the way up to three quarters of an inch. And now we're going to put it all together. Now this cover is really handy because if you get a mouse in there in a normal size bucket, the mouse could potentially jump right out, catch the lip, and get away. But with that cover on, they can't do it. This shows you how to assemble it. Pretty simple. Clips right on there. Put your bait all the way against the back wall. And then the mouse goes in there to get it. And then all of a sudden, the magnetic pull is overridden, and it drops your mouse right into your bucket. PlankyPro.com. There's the website for you. This is it. All put together. And we're going to hook the ramp on there. And then we're going to put it out in a brooder where I raise baby chicks in spring. And that seems to be where the mice are running around like they own the place. Here's where the plank goes on. They have a little notched out square there. I'm going to change all of this later in the video. So please continue watching and you're going to see what I did to make this thing work even better. I have three chicken coops. This is the one that has the mice in it that my wife says there's 18 mice running around in here. I don't know how she counted them, but here's the brooder. This is where I set it up. And this allows me to set up my motion activated cameras where the chickens won't be walking in front of it either. So put the bucket in here with the Planky Pro on it. And of course we're gonna put the, the ramp on there and the Arlo camera. I think that's an Arlo Pro 4. And that's how we're gonna find out what the mice do when they're in there. Indicator that you have mice around. Look at those little mouse droppings everywhere. Mice just make droppings wherever they go all day long. Indiscriminate. You don't want this in your chicken coop or garden shed or in your greenhouse, wherever. So we're going to put this bucket plank out here. Now I changed 
the surface of the plank. So I decided to put this uh, hardware cloth is what it's called, quarter inch galvanize. I'm going to bend that around because it makes it longer. Remember my bucket's taller. My ramp needs to touch the ground and still extend out at an angle that allows it to stay attached to my bucket. And stey with me too because you're going to want to see I even modify it beyond this but I did prime it a little bit with peanut butter just so that the mice would be encouraged to climb up that lattice there. And then we're going to see some mice getting caught too and we're going to see some not getting caught. It's a little frustrating. Here we go. Look at that fat mouse at the very top, right out on the plank, just dining away on the peanut butter, getting itself a sunflower seed or two in the progress. And that's a nice fat one, by the way. Look at the little one scooting straight up the back wall. It does not trigger the trap. Here's another example. Look, it's a free-for-all. There's three of them in there running around. And we have the biggest and heaviest one in on the plank eating away, having a good time, and after it's done, of course, it's going to walk away without going into my bucket. That is not what's supposed to happen. So obviously, at least for house mice, this thing is not set. Loosen it. Look at this mouse. This bothers me a lot. She looks pregnant. Look at that big, fat stomach on that mouse. That means more mice are going to be growing up inside this chicken coop. So we're going to make some changes. I readjusted it. Now I made it so that this five-eighths of an ounce test block only gets to one and three-quarters of an inch to the edge. We're going to put it back in service and now we're going to see what's going to happen. And I'm noticing mice. Look at that one. Climbing vertical. It gave me some ideas. I'm going to modify this. It doesn't need all the space because mice like to climb straight up. They don't need a 45 degree plank. I'm going to change that later on. But first let's see if we can catch something. Here comes a nice felt mouse. Now house mice are different species from deer mice. They're considered an invasive species, I was told. So they're not from here, the state of Pennsylvania. So you're not allowed to release them after you catch them. You have to do something else with them. Oh, what happened there? That's right. The trap is more sensitive now. Here comes a little heavy one running right up there, full of confidence after having eaten in there before. And But what happens this time? goes out to the edge. Oh, what happened? Into the bucket. Oh, here comes another, a friend to join the party. What was that noise? That was the noise of a mouse inside jumping up and down on sunflower seeds. Let me see what it's like. Oh, welcome to the club. Welcome to the deep bucket. Here they are. House mice. Now, deer mice are probably heavier, so they would trigger the trap. So you're going to have to adjust it based on the species of mouse that you're after, but here they go. They're not happy. Look how nervous they are sitting there. Why are you staring at us? Not only that, we're going to improve it. So remember, we changed it so it doesn't trigger until it gets to one and three quarters, so not out to the edge. I also embedded more sunflower seeds because they seem to really go after those. And I'm just using the peanut butter to stick the sunflower seeds to the back of the shroud. And I'm keeping it well above where the plank will be. You don't want it to interfere with the plank function. What else could we be doing? We could lubricate the axles on this thing, and I'm also going to make a vertical I call this the Rapunzel approach. Instead of hair, we've got this hardware cloth. Olive oil is what I'm going to use to lubricate the hinge right there. I want to make sure that when this thing does activate, when the mouse is out there, nothing slows it down. Little drips on the approach there don't hurt either. So galvanized, I bent the edges to give it some rigidity. Now it can go straight up, which means this bucket can be put in a much smaller space. I don't need to have the approach angled out. Look, the mice climb straight up. After they climb straight up, they go straight in. After they go straight in, what's going to happen next? Well, it's going to break the magnetic tension and it's going to drop the mouse in, but this mouse is too smart for that. It's going to check all angles first. This mouse has been around. It's not going to fall for that big, obvious bait that's stuck on the back interior of the shroud of the Planky Pro. It's going to try to get it from the outside. Can't do that either. I mean, there are the little bits of peanut butter sticking through the holes, but maybe... Maybe it'll just try to go inside and see if it can't get to the main larder there. This is a lightweight mouse. Look at that. Oh, what happened? 
right in the bottom. Well, that was unfortunate for one of the smartest mice in the coop. Here comes another one, wondering what happened to its friend. Climbing right up. Vertical works great. It's held in place with a zip tie too, by the way, so it can't fall off there. Oh, hey, what are you doing in here? So one after another, even the tiniest mice. Some of these mice weighed as little as half an ounce. That's right. I took them all out later and weighed them to see. They range from half an ounce to seven eighths of an ounce. So if you adjust it, as I've shown you here, it will catch the smallest mice. No more cutouts, no more escapees, no free lunch. And there goes that little one there. I think that was the half ouncer right there. Here's another one showing the full length of it. Look, they go straight up. We don't need a plank. We don't need a 45 degree angle to get in there. They go straight up the hardware cloth. And right over the top, sees the bait. Walks out on the plank. They're pretty careful. Look how it holds its hind foot back. Just in case something happens, it might need to pull itself back, but it triggered without me seeing it. So here's five new mice. And this shows they're jumping. Also, it was really cold outside in the chicken coops. You see there's condensation on the interior sidewall of the bucket, and it's all clean at mouse height. So they've had water to drink in there as well. What do you do with them? I recommend you come contact a wildlife rescue group somebody that can use the mice if you have nowhere to put them of course you're going to have to kill them and dispose of them but uh, donate them to a raptor recovery group wildlife recovery something like that recycle the mice if you have to kill them you have to kill them now as i mentioned before because they're non-native species deer mice could be released somewhere else but I also would collect and recycle those to some kind of wildlife rehab. I hope this video was helpful. Get the Planky Pro, make the adjustments, and you're gonna find out it's a fantastic trap. Thanks for watching.